is Jamie Brand, Regional Agronomy Manager for 360 Yield Center. We have been getting a lot of great questions from a lot of people. We've been getting a lot of feedback from growers that ran our 360 Yield Saver technology in the fall of 2016. And I just wanted to take a minute to come out after harvest and just share some information and just some insight that I saw in the fall of 2016 on 360 Yield Saver. And we'll get behind me in just a minute. I've got an area marked out. Uh, this is the side that was just standard gathering chain. This side here was uh, 360 yield saver on that on those rows of that of an 893 John Deere corn head. And so really what we, we knew and, uh, and suspected, but we validated really as we got a chance to be around this more this fall is that 360 yield saver really does two things. Um, we think about the propelling of kernels into the corn head and it absolutely does that. But the biggest thing, the most intriguing thing for me, is with the hostility of that corn head, we're seeing that ear come down, and we're seeing it come down, and we're seeing it now, maybe there's some residue smashed around it, but still there's a big impact of that ear coming down, hitting either a gathering chain or a crop lug or a deck plate, um, and we're seeing kernels, kernels fly. And the one thing that probably intrigued me the most about 360 Yield Saver is we have now created a cushion. So really when you look at 360 Yield Saver, we attach to a gathering chain and we basically bridge the gap to help cover the gaps to minimize kernels being dropped down through the deck plates. But in the same, at that same time, we are, we are cushioning that area basically to minimize and we've significantly lessened the amount of kernels that fly to begin with so there's less to capture. So that's really the two things 360 Yield Saver does. It cushions the blow and then once we still have some kernels that do blow, we have the ability to, with one propel, move those things up into the corn head. So behind me, I want to just show you something that I was able to do today, uh, is just look at, look at an area of a field that I came back to. And if you'll see to my right, you'll see <clears throat> this is the part of the head that we ran 360 yield saver on. And we had 34 kernels that I captured with a flag just to signify where a kernel was. On this side of the corn head, <clears throat> Excuse me, we ran just standard gathering chains, and in that area we had 104 kernels that we lost, either a combination of, uh, of, of less cushion, and we get them out ahead of, the, ahead of the corn snoot, or basically dropping through the, the deck plates. And that's pretty much what we have seen. Uh, a lot of questions about, you know, the longevity or the bristle life. And what we've seen, even after we've gotten significant acres on there, we still really have a strong cushion. And a cushion to me is probably more important, or at least equally as important, as having the bridge of the gap to be able to bring them up. Um, as corn gets drier, um, and one thing I would say, uh, as corn gets drier, it tends to get worse, but I think we gotta be cautious to think that it's only bad in drier corn. What we've seen even at 22, 23%, certain years, certain environments, certain hybrids, um, from just being in the seed world, um, are a little bit unpredictable. And so we have seen very high savings in 23, 24% corn. We had a great first year with 360 uh, Yield Saver. We look forward to increasing production. Um, looking forward to meet more demand for, for what you as farmers are looking for for the fall of 2017. Thank you.